Delta State Governor Dr. Ifanyi Okowa has empowered 565 widows through its Widow Skill Acquisition and Empowerment Program. The widows were empowered with starter packs after undergoing training in five different areas of vocational training in hairdressing, fashion and design, makeup, soap making and baking. Addressing the beneficiaries at the ceremony in Asabadi State Capital, Governor Ifan Yokoa says the empowerment was part of measures to tackle challenges faced by some vulnerable members of the society, especially widows. Our Delta State correspondent, Akpo Mujero Friday, reports that Okowa increased the number of beneficiaries of the scheme from 11,000 to 20,000 and the monthly stipend from 5,000 Naira to 10,000 Naira monthly, urging them to use the starter packs to fend for themselves and add to the improvement of the economy of the state. Today's beneficiaries are drawn from the 25 local government areas of the state. At the commencement of the widows' welfare scheme, 5,607 widows were placed on a stipend of 5,000 naira each. After the enumeration of widows in the states and the putting together of the state's social register, the number was increased to 11,107 beneficiaries. Enjoy free healthcare services through the state's contributory health commission. They assess free medical services through accredited hospitals and primary healthcare centers in their localities. In effect, from the end of November, the stipend is increased from 5,000 to 10,000. Governor Okowa also noted, after the elimination of widows in the state, that the number was increased to 11,107 and the women were drawn from 270 federal wards in the 25 local government areas of the state. Okowa further stressed that the government has fulfilled part of its promise for a stronger delta as they tackle the challenges faced by some vulnerable members of society through providing starter packs to 565 widows across the state. And since 2017, all pregnant women attending our accredited hospitals and primary health care centers are attended to free because the state government pays their premium in the health insurance policy. And all children under five years of age are also treated for free. And if I promise for a stronger delta, as we tackle the challenges faced by some vulnerable members of society through providing starter packs to 565 widows across the state. These widows have undergone training in five different areas of vocational training, which include hairdressing, fashion design, makeup, soap making, and bakery. This will go a long way in shoring up the economic sustenance of these widows.